I started work on another marble machine, and I figured it may be interesting to document the process, so I brought out my camera to show you the building process. Now this is a themed marble machine. It's a single theme. It's based off a mini golf course. Not any mini golf course in particular, just one in general. Now, as you can see, I've got a lift, and there's an on-off switch, and it works. And the lift is based off a corkscrew. It's just a wooden dowel with wire attached to it, wrapped around it all the way up. And the motor at the top is a DC motor attached to an AC-DC adapter. Now, the hole at the top doesn't quite work yet. It's got, it doesn't have a barrier, so the first thing I need to do is add a barrier. Now, the top, as you can see, there's four holes, and that's what's going to divide the marbles into the four different tracks. Each track will have a couple of holes, and it'll just be up to random for the marbles to decide which track that they're going to follow. In order to have a barrier around the hole, I trace it out using quarter-inch ply and cut it out with a scroll saw. After finding the center, I use a compass to trace out the inner barrier and then go back to the scroll saw to cut it out. There's a lot of sanding required through the whole process to make sure that there aren't any splinters and that the final piece looks good. Once I'm happy with how the final piece looks, I tack it down with some wood glue. I add a weight to hold it in place while the glue dries. Then I go back through and scrape out some of the excess glue. Once that size barrier is complete, I do some tests to make sure that everything's running nice and smoothly. Now, as you can see, the balls are favoring one specific hole, so I need to add some chaos to make sure that the balls get divided into all four holes and not just one. So in order to do that, I'll add a bump to one side to kick the marbles around the holes so that way they'll be less likely to land in the same one every time. There's my bump, now I just need to find the right place for it. Once I'm happy with its placement, I'll go ahead and mark its location and then tack it in with some wood glue. Then I'll do some more tests to make sure that it works just as planned. Now I finish off the barrier on the other side. This one required a small clamp to keep it in place as the glue dried. Now that the first hole is complete, I move on to the second. Now each hole is like a multi-layered cake. The top layer is shaped like a funnel to allow the marbles to gravitate towards the center. The middle layer is a spacer to give room for the marbles to roll. And the bottom layer has a downward slope that guides the marbles to where they're going next. I use my router table setup to cut out the middle layer. Okay. 
Then I use the newly cut second layer to trace out the third layer. After sanding down the rough edges, I use a Dremel to make a downward slope and guide the marble to where it goes next. Next, I trace out the top barrier that fits the dimensions for this specific hole. I assembled the layers, making sure that each one is lined up correctly. Then I let it dry with a bit of pressure. Now I measure the height of a supporting pillar, making sure that there's enough of a downhill slope. Then I cut it square with the miter saw. Once the pillar was in place, I added a triangle at the bottom for added support. Once that was glued in place and stable, I was able to glue on the hole, the pathway that leads up to the hole, as well as the barriers that keep the marbles from falling off. Once all the glue is dry, I test it to make sure it works. This wraps up part one of the mini golf marble machine building process. For this part, I wanted to show how much work goes into such a small amount of product. There are so many steps required for each individual piece. Measuring, marking, cutting, sanding, remarking, resanding, gluing, and sanding again. I will not go into this much detail in the next videos, and will instead show much more assembly. I hope you enjoyed, and thanks for watching.